Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. Quick update before uh, we begin the actual video. I'm selling Will Grigg for $2.6 million, which, I mean, I'm sorry in advance, Birmingham City, about the incredible act of thievery that I have just performed uh, towards your club. Um, congratulations, Will Grigg, on, I think it's safe to say, the worst... Um, I don't know why people keep trying to buy Vinny Thrill. He is not for sale. So... There's that. This guy is getting $42 million, which is more money than I have. So I can't, I can't do anything about that. Here's the deal. I would like to strengthen the squad. And on this front, I need your help. Will Grigg has been sold. Thank God that's over. What a mistake. I mean, I want to apologize to my friends, my family, everybody involved. Um, the Wimbledon board is proud of me for my brand exposure goals, which is a little humiliating. But here are my basic objectives. Brand exposure, I got to crush it, and I did it. Continental success, not important. Domestic success, even less important. Financial success, important. I need to um, increase the value of the club, which is very vague. Um, and I also need to uh, reach the round of 32 stage. And I think that I've signed a player from my youth academy. There is a lot of things in this game now where you just have to do things that are annoying and that they never result in any, they never result in anything. There, I did sign a player to my youth academy. He's been, I mean, I don't want to brag, but I've got Charles Cook. All right, so here's the deal. I need your help. We've got some money and we need to strengthen uh, significantly. So I'm just going to show you our best 11. This is our best 11. We've got John Green, who's amazing. John Green, who's amazing. Anoma, who's pretty great. S Oreo Baskets, who's excellent and still young. And then on the left, we've got Andy Barcham, who is not good enough for this level. And on the right, we've got Frankenstein, also not good enough for this level. Um, I actually feel pretty good about Cuesta Cuesta and Gummy and Cyan's, but I do not feel good. And I feel okay about Meads, but not great. And there's no backups for any of these guys. So what I really need are strength in left midfield and right midfield and maybe some high quality fullbacks how much money do i have you ask well let me show you i've got some but not a ton i've got oh, of course it's not in transfers where you spend the money it's in finances i have like uh 10 million dollars transfer budget 163 thousand dollars wage budget that could be like three hundred thousand dollars wage budget if i wanted to get loan players but i don't want to spend a lot of money on loans or like up to 14, maybe 13 million. So that's the deal. If you have any suggestions for who I should acquire, bearing in mind that it is um, currently 2019 in this game, even though it's, I know it's not 2019 in real life, transfer offer for Callum Kennedy. Callum Kennedy, you have been a great servant to the club and I bid you farewell. Could enjoy your time in Spain. Are you sad? Yeah, I mean, there's always one of Meredith's favorites. You know, he doesn't play for real life AFC Wimbledon either anymore. I actually I have to say I don't know where he is, but I hope he's doing well. Um, all right, this is our first Premier League game. It's very exciting. We're playing Southampton. This is the kind of team that we're going to need to beat to stay up. This is like our level of class, probably. I don't know if Southampton's like becomes significantly stronger. But yeah, it's our level of class. So let's see how we do. I'm going to answer this question from Zyman, or possibly Simon, or Zyman, or Zeman, Zemen. I'm going to be honest, this person sent a pronunciation guide for their name that, um, while excellent, I don't know, I don't know, I, it, it's like the Wikipedia style pronunciation guide, and whenever I look at the Wikipedia style pronunciation guides, I'm always like, mmm, I think that might have made it harder for me. So anyway, I'm sorry that if I said your name wrong, but this person has a very interesting problem and donated the Project for Awesome. Thanks for donating the Project for Awesome. My fiance falls asleep when we watch movies together. Movies are one of our main common hobbies and I don't want to watch them alone. What should we do? Now, I don't know if this is happening at home or at the movie theater. So it's kind of two different problems. I fall asleep at the movie theater and you know why? It's because I don't get enough sleep. I work too much and I'm always you know parenting or doing something and then I don't have time to sleep and then I don't even know that I'm tired and then I go see a movie 
and I fall asleep. Now, I know what you're saying. Like, maybe you're just not watching exciting enough movies. No, I fell asleep during the Avengers movie, which, I, from what I understand from reading the reviews, is the greatest cinematic achievement since Citizen Kane. And for me, it was mostly an occasion to have my sleep periodically interrupted by booms. <laughs> it's got to be John Green. Oh, my God. It's the opening goal of our Premier League campaign. It's John Green. Let's try to do a new celebration. What? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. I want to apologize. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Not that one. Oh, it's the infinite dab. Um, a few days ago, my son was swimming in a pool, and he said, Look, Dad, I can dab underwater. And then he did. He did. He did the underwater dab. Now, if FIFA's looking for a new celebration, I recommend the underwater dab. Hopefully our entire season will go this well where we score a goal six minutes in. And then I assume we're just going to go on to humiliate Southampton. And maybe, you know what? I was lamenting earlier that we're not going to win anything this year. But maybe we are. Maybe instead of trying to narrowly avoid relegation, we're going to be winning the Premier League. Who knows? Anything is possible. No, it didn't work. So there's one possibility, which is that you, your fiancé is tired and needs to get more sleep. And that is what's causing the falling asleep at movies problem. Um, that is certainly my problem. Also, the movie theater seats have gotten too... It's time. Well, uh, remember when we were dreaming of winning the Premier League? Well, we've been brought back to reality 14 minutes into the game. We still suck. Okay. And, oh, mm, Meredith, they have a ginger goal scorer. This is very fancy graphics. I don't know if I like them. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you come up to the Premier League. You start to get the fancy graphics. So, another another possibility. And, and in that case, the solution is to get more sleep. Uh, slash make your make movie seats less less comfortable there are movie seats now in indianapolis that are basically beds and like how am i not going to fall asleep they recline into full beds like it they they're they're nap pods that you pay 11 dollars to spend two hours in more than their seats they're like oh my god rafa with a really good save or else we'd be we'd be two one down after 21 minutes now oh, this is like manchester city playing brighton just starts out so good and then it gets so bad. Oh, Rafo saves it off the post. Things are getting a little dark here. We gotta we gotta get focused. Another possibility, which I think is the stronger possibility, is that the kinds of movies you're watching are not uh, the kinds of movies your fiance likes. And so you have this worldview that like, oh, it's a, that's a red card. That is a red card ref. No, I don't I don't want your handshake. You've tackled me for pull out the red ref come on is that harry kane's little brother i don't know as you can see there john mead's uncomfortable he's recovered completely but he was uncomfortable for a minute let's go like right there mm, that wasn't the right place still almost got something out of it john green squats in disappointment as if there was really something there which you know there might have been especially for a finisher of his quality but it remains 1-1. One, one. So I think this might be an opportunity to have a uh, big conversation with your fiancé about if that's a goal kick, that's the worst shot I've ever taken in my life. I want to relive it. And oh, I think there was a slight deflection. There was. Okay, I feel better. I think this might be a good opportunity for you to talk with your fiancé about what kind of movies they like. Uh, because it seems like that's my guess is that it's like, yeah, no, I do. I totally want to watch. Uh, I totally want to watch the favorite. And then like 20 minutes into the favorite, they're like, I don't, I don't really want to watch the favorite. And so you think that like, it's this huge part of your relationship to watch movies together. But from their perspective, it's very different. Okay. This is an opportunity. Is Anoma really our best free kick taker? Meredith, I don't know if you know this, but I never score from these. And the trend continues. <laughs> that was actually, for me, pretty good. It got over the wall. Uh, 
<laughs> it was like right in the center of the goal, so it wasn't going to go in. But, I mean, for me, that's pretty good. Mr. Managerino, at this point, you cannot expect anything other than that. You can't expect me to do better than that. It's just not who I am. So, I would be, I would have a conversation with your fiance about, hey, what kind of movies do you really like? And then another possibility is that they only like the first 30 minutes of movies, um, which is like, kind of, I, I, kind of, I kind of feel that vibe, especially uh, in 2019 in the age of fractured detention. Sometimes the ni- first ni- like ni- 19 minutes, 20 minutes, that's all I need of a movie, you know? I get the feeling, you know? Like you watch the first 20 minutes of Lincoln, and you're like, I think I know where this is going. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm not, you know, I think I know how this one ends. Not a lot of, still waiting for that, like, great alternate history Abraham Lincoln movie where, you know, he goes on to become, like, a successful vaudeville ventriloquist or something. Oh, there is the vampire hunter. Come to think of it, they have made an alternate history of Lincoln movie where he's a vampire hunter. It's Was it good? I didn't see it. Huh? Meredith didn't see it either. I think I saw the first 15 minutes, but yeah, it just didn't, didn't catch my interest. So I think like those are those are among the possibilities. Um, and then I think you need to uh, maybe choose for a week, say, or two weeks, choose movies that they that that are their picks. So and, and and don't try to influence it because I know I know sometimes we can try to influence our partners when it comes to movie choices. Um, but really try to like see what kind of movies they would pick on their own and then see if they're still falling asleep. And if they're still falling asleep, then you might have I think you might have a sleep problem on your hand rather than a movie problem. But my concern is that you do have a movie problem on your hand and you're just like maybe you're just not into the same kind of movies which is not a big oh thank god that could have that was that was almost disastrous it's not a big deal in the scheme of things i don't think not being in the same kind of movies like sarah and i like we like a lot of the same movies we usually agree whether a movie was good but like the kinds of movies we would choose to watch are different movies it's got to be john green oh my god it's as cool as the other side of the pillow he's relentless you can't stop him he's going to try a celebration what's it going to be it's going to be like a slow spin <laughs> which was good i thought that was good but i mean that's that kind of quality ball from john green to john green cool as the other side of the pillow kind of finish that is going to be the story of this Premier League season for us. And we've got a Mr. Managerino is delighted. And we've just, that's got to be the kind of balls that we play where we lean in to the fact that we have a striking duo that while they started out good, have become truly, truly great. And that that's our opportunity this season. I think is that we've got, you know, we, we don't have the best like, central midfield that you're going to find in the premier league but because of the way that ball john green and other john green have come together oh my god look at that look at that love that two men have for each other and the magic that it can give us when we love football together the way that they love football together go celebrate in front of the other fans i love it it's a little too much it's a little it's a little bit baiting the, the home fans but where our people are delighted Just absolutely delighted. Other John Green to ball John Green. That is going to be the glory of this season. Other John Green, ball John Green. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to take off Barchi and bring on Perry. Maybe I should start calling Dean Parrott Perry the Platypus. Do you have any other advice for this person with the movie thing? Yeah, it's a little bit of a tough one. But I think that... Oh, eat snacks. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. Or knit. Right. But you don't, so you gotta, you have to do another activity. That's really good, knitting. Because, like, the thing about knitting is that if you start, like, being on Instagram while watching a movie, then you're not watching a movie together, right? You're like, one person's on Instagram. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's the greatest goal I've ever scored. It's the greatest goal of my lifetime. It's Frankenstein. He's a doctor, not a monster. It's four to one. And please observe the greatest goal I've ever scored. Frankenstein standard cutback, standard cross, and hurt their feelings. 
Standard cutback, standard cross, and... Da 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 Oh god that was magnificent I mean my whole life I've been waiting for that moment and it was just as good as I hoped it would be I scored from outside the box I scored, it was, everything about it was perfect. But knitting is, a, is an ideal, like, secondary activity to do while watching a movie because you can do it and it's, it, and it's involving, but it doesn't in any way diminish your appreciation for the movie. Whereas, like, once you're on Instagram, you're not really even in the same room as the person you're ostensibly in the same room as. You're really in the, like, room that is Instagram. And so I don't think you can do that, but I do think that you can do things like, get there, oh my God, it's, it's, it's a slaughter. It's an absolute unadulterated, I mean, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm gonna try to press a new button. Oh, dang it, I pressed the dab button again. Oh, what? There's only four buttons. How could I have pressed the dab button twice? Anyway, uh, other John Green to Dean Parent, is right where he needs to be. Trotter's coming on for Frankenstein. It's five to one. It's five to one. I gotta check the skill level. Maybe I'm just this good. Maybe we are gonna win the Premier League. I've gone from being sure that we were going to uh, be in a relegation scrap to being almost sure that we are going to be the, like, to have like an Arsenal style invincible season in which we lose no games. It's going to be one or the other, for sure. Um, yeah, so maybe maybe seek out an activity that it, uh, keeps you awake, like knitting, but doesn't wind you up like Twitter. Um, is that a fair description of Twitter? It's five to two. <laughs> I'm so, God, I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, my God. I could hardly, I mean, it's just, that was humiliating. Well, welcome to the season. It's going to be, there's going to be thrills, there's going to be spills, there's going to be chills. But most of all, there's going to be terrible FIFA. I was t taken off the ball unfairly there. Nobody's stronger than other John Green. So, oh, God, are we going to lose this game? Oh, God, I can't. Somebody, somebody stop him. Good Lord, he ran through our defense like he was Lionel Messi. Oh, gosh. All right. I still have 10 minutes left in this. This is, this is ridiculous. Please tell me what players to buy, guys. I'm in such a bad position in re player development. I've got I, I I need I need I need some I need some scouts, some semi professional did other John Green just attempted to pass it to himself and it almost worked. They're taking off uh another one of their gingers. And uh that's that's gonna of course weaken their team. I think they've gone from two gingers to none, which that's it's just too low. It's other oh my god, it's bald John Green. He went he went bold, he went expressive, he went dramatic, and it was unsuccessful. But I liked I liked it. I just think we it was a little there wasn't quite enough pace on it. Alright, let's see if we can get in there. Get in there! Ball John Green! Oh I thought that was gonna happen. I really thought that was gonna happen for us. And then there was a very, very risky slide tackle. The kind of slide tackle that is not necessary when you're getting, winning a game five to two. <laughs> but, you know, I just, I, I felt, I felt it. Oh, God. Are we going to give up another goal? No. Desi Oshilaja says no. And then it's, that's good. That's a really good ball. It's ball John Green. It's ball John Green. Oh, probably should have passed. Probably should have passed, but it probably, I mean, it's probably nice for their goalie to not have to be further humiliated. Maybe that's the best thing. It's five to two in the end. Maybe this season is going to be just scrappy and wild like that game was. Uh, I don't think there's any way your fiance could have taken their eyes off of that work of magic. The ball was floating. The ball was floating. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.